Hey there, it's Dennis from BC Tesla Guy. Today I'm going to meet up with a guy from the Vancouver Facebook group that has a Tesla CCS adapter. And I'm just going to test it out with my cars. Now he's told me he's gotten up to 126 kilowatt hours uh, charging. So right now I've got my car. It's sitting at about 14%. Well, let's just take a look here. So I'm sitting at yeah, I'm at 14% and uh, my battery temperature has gone down. It was at 51. Now it's at 49. Well, when he gets here, we'll uh, go ahead and we'll take a look at that adapter and then uh, we'll try charging with it. Good. Hey there, guys. I'm here with Gunner down at the Petrocan down on Burrard hey, Street. Um, he's showing me his CS, uh, CSS adapter. Yeah, that, I love that thing so far from what I'm seeing. We've, we've been talking about it. So he's going to show us how to connect it to the car. Sure. So you basically connected the output to your adapters, like you do in the Chatamo. Yeah. And it clicks and it sits better than it does in the Chatamo because it's a smaller section here, I believe. Yeah. And then the one thing I, I yeah. saw was this is a pin yeah. and then this pin locks that thing so someone can't walk up and unplug you from it once it's locked into the port. Right. Perfect. So, just plug it in as if it's our Chatamo charger, and that's it. So, um, yeah, I, I tried the Chatamo. It gets probably about 48 kilowatts. Uh, and what I found was that the Chatamo would ramp up as it got further along, higher voltage. So I'm not sure how this would do. But yeah, well, that's pretty good. Um, my state of charge, like 13%. I think the battery was about 45 degrees or 48 degrees. And we'll just run this for a few minutes. And uh, we'll just, we'll go through the disconnecting thing. So we're just going to disconnect this now. So we just press it and see the light. Pull it. Stuck. There you go. There you go. That's it. So it's kind of like the uh, the J772 adapter. Right. Kind of, I think. A little bit longer than that, but... Which is actually better because that other adapter, it matches the cable so easily. I've almost left it. Right. Yeah. That's right. I like it better. Yeah. So thank you so much for showing me this. This Anytime. is awesome. Of course. Yeah. It's my I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, my pleasure too. Hopefully we'll meet up at a, a Tesla event or something as well. Of course. I'd like to thank Gunner for dropping by that Petrocan on Burrard Street uh, the other day and showing me his CCS adapter. I was really happy with it. Um, I did get 126 kilowatts uh, was the highest rating that I did get. So same as what he was getting on his car. So I'm assuming that's probably where it peaks out. Uh, again, he, he had tested that at that location as well. So we're all hoping that the adapter will be available in 2022. Uh, currently, the Chatamo is not available anymore on the Tesla website. So I'm hoping they're ramping up production and then be able to provide the CCS adapter here in North America. Previously, the Chatamo adapter sold for around $600. From the estimates that I see on the web, it looks like maybe that CCS adapter should be selling for maybe $350. So it's a lot cheaper, it's smaller, easier to keep in your car. It's gonna be a great thing to have. So again, I can't wait to see uh, when they get released here in North America. Now, a couple of things that you need to know is um, the older cars aren't gonna have it available to them and you can quickly go ahead and check on your car. So let's just go take a look at that. Okay, so when you're in the app, then what you're gonna do is you go down to software and then over to additional information, which is right here. And then you can see right there, that'll show on the third line there, CCS adapter support enabled. So you need to check that uh, on your car. So. I, I believe all cars beyond 2021 have it. So all, all Tesla Model 3s and Ys will have it enabled, but 
before you go to purchase this adapter, just make sure that you it's uh, supported.